And I know that everybody heard the gospel clearly. You know, I hate it when somebody comes out and they talk about they want your money for 25 minutes and then preach for five. But I'm not doing that, see? Sinners, I'm telling you, unless you repent, if you were to die today, you'd burn in hell for eternity. And you deserve it. <laughs> and uh, there's no way to escape the torments of hell, the righteous judgment of God, friend, except believing that Christ took the punishment of life for you. So on Judgment Day, you're not going to be able to look at this preacher and say, he didn't warn us. I'm going to see every one of your faces. I hope you repent. But it's up to you. You see, because God is pro-choice. God is evil in my book. You said that in rather a derogatory fashion, Faye. Well, uh, homosexuals, sodomites, they're sinners just like you. <laughs> Why do you have to stand do, on do a you think because you're not a sodomite, you're better than a sodomite? Not at all. Are you more holier than thou? No, no, I'm not more holy. Well, actually, I am more holier than thou. Come to think of it. Because I, I've been cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Matter of, matter of fact, matter of fact, I, uh, I quit fornicating, shooting. I quit fist fighting. Uh, I probably broke the, two, the Ten Commandments, probably all ten every day, but I repented 13 years ago. Yeah, and you were probably a lot more fun than you just doing that cycle. God knows it's boring now. And I'm clean, Brandon. Yeah, I know. Sour this morning. I do just say Very limited. Him. She thought he was too big for him to put his hand around. Grandma wanted a little cup for him. Oh, you know, oh. She said oh, it was too big for him to oh, put his hand around. You such a big cup. Hey, David. You're on Look camera, Daddy. son. Look at Daddy. Do something cute and lovable. <laughs> that, Don't, you know what that was? Don't put me under pressure like that. That's the best you can do, son? Oh, how cute. That, okay, that was good. Don't put me under pressure. That was good. Catherine, Kate. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Mother would do anything and get cold. Oh, here comes Grandma with the goods. For every sin. Now, how are you going to feel when the books are open? They read off Paul the Apostle. Took 39 stripes three times, stoned and left for dead. He was forsaken by all other Christians in Asia, but the Bible says God comforted him. Now, how would you like your deeds to be read right after his? Well, I fornicated, but I love the woman. I stole, but you have to you understand, I didn't eat for two days. Uh, yes, I'm a homosexual, but my mother used to beat me, uh, so that explains that. Uh, how are you going to feel, friends? What excuse are you going to give on that day? You're going to give some kind of type of theological explanation? Well, I'm saved by grace. <coughs> Friends, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men, teaching us that we should deny sin and live righteously. If you think you're saved by grace, but you go on sinning, you're dead in your sins. You're dead in your sins. You say, well, I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. Well, let me tell you something. If you're in your sin, that type of belief won't save you. You see, there was a, a, a man who was demon-possessed, and he saw Jesus coming, and the demons cried out. Their faith was orthodox. They said, Jesus, thou son of God. They knew he was the son of God. He says, have you, they said, have you come to torment us before our time? They knew there was a place of torment, eternal torment. That faith did not save them. They were demons just the same. Sinners, if you're going to church and, and, and you're still participating in your pornography, lying, and drunkenness, you need to repent. There was a preacher that had a vision. It was a man swimming in a lake of fire. And what he'd do is he'd come up to a, one of the bodies bobbing there in that lake that burned with fire. He'd grab the body by the hair and look at the face and send it plunging back in the, in the water as he swam on. Well, he did that two or three times. 
And the preacher says, uh, excuse me, what are you doing out there? And he swam on to the next body. He picked it up and he says, I'm looking for the preacher that told me I was okay. <laughs> Sinners, did your, preacher, did your preacher tell you we're all right? Am I okay? <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll tell you what. You can join. You can join uh, any number of psychologists, and for a small fee, they can convince you. They can convince you you're okay. That's not what I asked. I'm okay. You're okay. Can you answer that? Question? Are you okay? Yeah. Well, what do you mean by okay? Answer the question. Well, what do you mean? Specify. Embellish. What did you mean by he was looking for the preacher that? No, in other words, the preacher he told was, him he was all right, but he was still a sinner, and he ended up in hell, and he was pissed at the preacher because he gave him false comfort. You am understand? I, am I a sinner? Then? Well, the Bible says all men and women everywhere are sinners. I don't have to go into heaven. And we're doomed. You said it right, man. Come on. You might as well sin. Live it up. All life well, you might as well, there. because yeah. if you're not going to repent, if you're not going to cease from your sin and believe that Christ Jesus took the punishment you deserve, you might as well live it up. Because you're going to pay dearly. The wages, there's a payday for your sin. The wages of sin. Oh, oh, we find a way to kill Nazis. Sinners get madder than hornets when they start preaching. Why not the truth get really naughty when you read this if, if you can see in the spirit realm right now, sinners are going, yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, you can see in the third grade. Is that what they really do? Yeah, more or less. Oh, they're like, they're like big children. Don't talk to them without Like a child. Doesn't like to talk about them. But listen, it only hurts you for a Are you So you can get an attack. I'll tell you what, though. You have not met the comfort. The comfort is not spirit. The comforter does, does comfort the saints when they're being tormented and persecuted and I think we're getting and, uh, the highest knowledge. I feel very comfortable. I feel very comfortable. Well, you're not shopping. You're not playing in a deck chair. The first commandment. Watching MTV. That's what I would love. The first commandment says I should love Roll up a little number. I call that being comfortable. Not standing on a chair yelling at people. Folks, I'd like, you to, I call it so. I'd, like to, I'd like you to make one observation today. Yeah, you to you make make the observation is, is that I'm almighty and I'm up here thinking I'm God. I'm going to quote the I holy say, word of God. God. Oh, what are we waiting for? What oh, oh. And they're all waiting. Well, I might as well go now, no. Oh, no. Oh, Sorry, you're going to have to hold it. First of all, we had a 10 mile hike. Now it's going to be dark. Uh, it's recording. Explain how Dave had come to the conclusion that he wants to get baptized just for the record so we know, you know it's authentic to his understanding and so forth. So go ahead, honey. Um, it was about a year ago, about two minutes, 1990 days of five, and I was sitting in the bed, and uh, we prayed, and then he, um, he said goodnight, and he said, Mommy, you think I'm going to get afraid, and I said, well, afraid of what? He said, I'm afraid that if I die, I'm going to go to hell. And so I just explained to him, I said, well, you know, if you tell Jesus, you are sorry for all the bad things that you've done, and you stop doing those bad things, and ask him to come into your heart, you'll be saved, and if you die, you'll go to be with him. And um, so I went in, and I told Chuck what had happened, and I called David in, and, and uh, David talked, I mean, Chuck talked to David a little bit more about it, and, um, and asked David if, if that's what he wanted to do, and he said, yes, but he prayed with him, and, and uh, 
you seem to understand. Yeah. And then he just kept asking us, you know, to, be, to get baptized, and uh, he wanted to, our pastor to do it, and he just was busy and stuff. So after about six months, I said, well, son, how about if I just go ahead? And he said, fine. So here we are today, and you go ahead and click that off, Wes, and we'll... Michael, what? look at David's going to be baptized. Five o'clock. Okay, my friends, the Bible says to make a public confession of baptism. This is public. As public as you can get. And uh, David here has decided to turn from all the pleasures as a six year old can of the world, all the uh, pleasures of sin and whatever little lust his sin nature can uh, conjure. And he decided to turn away from that as uh, Jesus Christ commands us to. And he decided to serve Jesus Christ and follow him from now on. And uh, my son's cold right now, as you can see. But he understands what the scriptures say about turning from flesh and pleasures and the lust of flesh. And uh, he knows you know, about drunkenness, and he understands what fornication and homosexuality is. He understands about stealing, that that's wrong. And I asked my son a little while ago if he had anything he wanted to confess. And uh, the thing that was foremost in his mind is he said the F word. So now my son was ashamed of saying the F word, and he repented of that, and he trusts that Jesus Christ has forgiven him. Amen. So now as the Bible instructs us, we're going to baptize my son. We're going to put him under the water. And we're going to leave all the sin below. And then when he comes up, we're going to believe what Jesus Christ said, that if we die with him, we shall also be raised with him. And so he knows that he's going to come up in the newness and life of Jesus Christ to serve and follow him with his body and his works from now on. Amen. So, David Daniel Spingola, I now baptize you in the name of the Father. I'm going to hold your nose. Hold your, <laughs> hold your own nose. Hold your own nose, David. Okay, okay. He says, right when I put him underwater, pull him right back up. <laughs> okay. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Son. There he is. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Holly and Ashley, where are the boys? There they are. Good one. That was great, David. Congratulations, David. <laughs> We're so proud of you. <laughs> That was a good year. We're proud of you. We're standing with you. Better. Help yeah. you walk with the Lord every day, yeah. David. God bless you. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You can go for a little while. Okay. Wants to get back in. Well, you want to go for a little while, huh? <laughs> he just looks so cool out there. <laughs> Not everyone is Christian. What is the definition of fornication? And I still don't understand why it's someone who has sex before marriage. So well, we're damn, we're all dying. We're all going to hell. We're all going to hell. We're all going to hell. <laughs> And why can't we use condom? That's one of the things. You have to go off the basis that everybody here is losing fear of the Bible like you do. But we go. We don't even consider the Bible in our daily lives. We go about it. I am so, I am so blissfully happy with being a non-Bible believer. I feel so unconstricted by not following this, this tiny book with so many pages in it. I feel good about my decisions in life, and I don't need somebody else to tell me how to do it. I can make my own moral judgments and convictions not on people that's not what i'm interested in. i'm not interested in criticizing people for their their standpoints or decisions but basically i'm more interested in going about my life making myself happy and why should you go around condemning other people for their decisions <laughs> if some person was standing outside the student union of my college and he had a book in his hand, and he was pointing a finger, and he was saying, God is angry with you because you love your wife and you're faithful. 
And not only that, you work, you have a job, and you supply for your family, you're going to burn in hell. You know how much effect that would have on me? This. So now my question is, why are you, why are you angry? <laughs> Because self-righteous assholes like you twist the First Amendment and let, we have to listen to you. Why are you unaffected by the gospel? Because it ain't true. Well, because it, by, well, it doesn't you. mean anything. You're insulting people to some degree, and I, I don't appreciate it. I mean, well, right. well, truthfully, I find you good entertainment. I enjoy a good debate. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Because I don't believe you're trash. You know what? All you guys can agree together. That preacher out there, he's that. Because we want you to get the fuck off our campus, asshole. You seem to be very angry. I'm not upset. In fact, I find you very funny and comical. I'm so glad to have you after my test this morning. Because I get to relieve stress. Well, if this is happy, I'd hate to see you mad. Yeah, you would. So don't try me. <laughs> How would some of you fellows uh, of, the, of the thinner build like to be married to this, come home every They day. wouldn't, because I don't think they could handle hey, it. Hey, that's a judgment, buddy. Won't you hop on a human sexuality class so you can find out just what women with my build can do? Yeah! I'm a big I got you on camera. I got you on camera. Leave him alone. Get the fuck away from him. Somebody get the police. Get the police. Stop it. Stop it. Let him go. Let him go. Right now. Let him go. Stop it. Stop it. I'm going to stay preaching. What? I don't know. Did he have a camera out? Get out of my face, I'll have you arrested. Fuck you. Will you have me arrested for what? I want you to walk away. For grabbing my property. I'm grabbing my property. I'm fucking touching you. You got it on camera. Don't fucking fuck. That's right. All right here, lady. All right here. All on camera. I'm going to play the game rationally and reasonably, so like a barbarian, like a brute beast, they resort to physical violence. Indian facility to provide equal mobility and access 
It took petitions, sit-ins, a whole movement, and even a Republican to to get these damn regions to the best in South Africa, to have affirmative action for our whole people in South Africa. What is it going to take for the people of California to have real justice? It's going to take live action, live movement, and 100,000 university employees support what's going on here. They might not be here today because they're working. You must galvanize that majority. Let's move ahead. Kathy. I'm going to sit in. I hope all of you sit in to put your bodies on the line for what we can believe in because bureaucratic bullshit gets us nothing. You want justice, you want mercy. You don't want justice because if you get justice without okay. mercy, Speakers, uh, another announcement. He just mentioned the civil disobedience. Again, we have legal monitors that are around. They're wearing green armbands. Pay them respect. If you are planning to participate in the civil disobedience, give them your name. They will take care of you. Again, we have we have organized this. It's a, it's a peaceful civil, civil disobedience. Please follow the monitors. Back to our students. We have Ingrid Turner from Santa Cruz coming up next. <laughs> Hey y'all, uh, I talked to uh, Conno Connolly yesterday. I said, brother, you are lost. And he said, fuck you. The region told me, fuck you. And you know what? The students have been nothing but fucked by the region. That's what we sign our check to every no, week when I'm going to do my tuition and stuff. A hundred fifty hundred dollars to Mr. Lady, fuck you, Connolly. <laughs> you know, and it's time that we stop I'm here to disrupt. Touch me, man. What's the Preacher. Good. I'm all for it. Oh, you are? Uh -huh. oh. You're for violence. Well, uh, well, have you talked to them? First, find out what they're doing. What, are you aware with them? I wasn't even touching anybody. I see them verbalizing. Well, verbal brutality leads to uh, violence and holocaust. The only one I see being violent is that black person who attacked him. They have the right to. We have the right to be angry. We have the oh, right, to be angry. right to be violent and physically attack somebody. He, he is a right wing scumbag fascist. We have the right to rise you, up and rebel. You, no, you have the right to violence and attack a person. It's not a matter of debate. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. So we can lock them up in jail forever. All the things you want to do. All these people oppressed. They took my people Well, half hour ago, past half hour, he's been saying he is glad they took the land away from the Indians. Are you aware of that? He's glad that they took the land away from the Indians. He said he's glad ages God. Hi. 
taking my belt. Hmm? I want to take a picture of you riding on the horse. Go ahead. Right on it. Okay. Wanna come and eat dinner? No. Okay, I'm gonna go eat dinner, all right? I'll eat dinner. Come on. Come on. Okay, see you later. Let's go eat dinner. Come on, son. Hey, David, let's go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, just be real careful, real. Yeah. No, don't try to pet it, okay? All right, Michael? Did you turn the heat off underneath the... Yeah, I, I did. She's not finding Here's our little camp. This is the log the kids have been running up and down on. Hi there. Here's Chuck cooking up the hot dogs for dinner. Hi! See? I'm it put it on Michael. And this is my messed up little brother here. Michael James Fingolak. <laughs> Honey, you want to take care of the food? Okay. You know? Here are the next day, Thursday, July 14th at Big Basin. There's Daddy and Little Boy, and they are trying to catch a blue jay in that box we there. We already caught one, but it got away. That's right, it did. Really, folks? I think the blue jays are getting a little smarter. Hi. Mom. Yes. Could you see me? Yes, I can. Through there. Yep. Can I fly? No. That's hot, babe. Please, mommy. I want. Hmm. Don't put your hand in there, boy. Mom, I want to look to at Daddy smiling. Daddy. Hi there. <laughs> Do I'm gonna try it with you. No, no, no. No, no, no. You can't have those marshmallows. No. <laughs> That's what I was catching her when I first came out of the tent. I caught was catching her trying to get these marshmallows. <laughs> See, the kids were running on there. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what are you doing good. up there? <laughs> oh, be careful oh, there. Oh, six sixes. Gee, so high. Uh -huh. you, can, you should have your tennis shoes on for that. I got hey. I got my hey, this is history in the making, boys. <laughs> I bet too. What are you doing? <laughs> huh? Mom, keep the camera on. Fine, let's go back up there. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, gosh. Help him, David. Help! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh gosh. He's got my wife. Oh, Mom, I could do that twice as good. Is he having an exercise? He's going to eat. Look at them, look at them, they're all going to show Grandpa up. I'm the t -shirt. <laughs> This is e each. Be <laughs> careful, you'll make them fall just going back. I know. <laughs> just the wind. Watch how cleverly he's going to do it. Yeah, well, he's, only, he's only almost eight years old. <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> I'm not playing. You, you, you missed it. Where'd you want? Put another one in there. Here he did. He put him forward. And then he did another one. What you guys doing? Playing pepper, okay? Yeah, yo. Pepper's home. Let's play it's some cards. Bet. King Bester. I mean. How much do you bet? Two thousand spinning dollars. Two? Oh, I call you on raise you one. Buffing. Buffing?
was without sin, tempted in every way. And what was his reward for the sinless life he led? To take on your sins and your punishment upon himself. The Bible says the spotless lamb that was slain. And again, folks, he knew his ministry. He knew what he must do to fulfill his calling and die on that terrible cross on Calvary. He was going to bear the sins of the whole world. The scripture says, despising the shame. Despising the shame. Now think about that. It's the shame Christ despised more than the physical beating. It was the shame of being called a blasphemer and a sinner, though he knew he was pure before God. They paraded him as a criminal, and that he despised. The physical torment, the fact they pulled out his beard, hung him on a cross, that was secondary, I believe, to Christ. He despised bearing your sin and being called a criminal, though he was blameless. And you sinners, you won't even admit your crimes against God. You can't even admit your guilt to the one who bore your crimes on the cross. Do you see how arrogant you are, sinners? Do you see how arrogant? Today is the same invitation to sinners. Again, Christ did not go kicking and screaming as he bore the burden for your sin. He did it willingly. He did it willingly. Christ did not cry, kick, and scream. You did not see anywhere in Scripture where they had to drag Christ to the cross to bear your punishment. He did it because, first of all, in obedience to the Father. Secondly, that he might redeem a people unto himself. And he was a man, friend. He was a man. And he did it for you. Today, if you reject his mercy, if you hold on to your crimes, your pleasure seeking, I must warn you that you have hell to pay. That you have hell to pay. What is hell? Eternal torment. The Bible says the worm never dies and the flame is never quenched. The Bible says that in hell people will seek after death and won't be able to find it. Can you imagine you throwing yourself off that building to, to end the torment of hell's eternal flames? You hit the bottom and you wake up alive. And the torment continues. Time after time, day after day, you'll devise ways to end the torment. You'll devise schemes to end your life. But the Bible says there is no end to the torment. You'll hope that you can go crazy. You'll hope that your mind will depart from reason. But it will never happen, the Bible declares. When torment reigns, your mind will be very, very clear that in life, God's love, you spurn. You spurn. Because you love your sin. Because you love your sin. What idol is it today? What God is it today? What sin is it today that keeps your heart in rebellion? to your creator. What sin is it today that you yield your will to? That you will satisfy that selfish desire? You will obey that idol? Friends, you must yield your will to Christ or be judged as a criminal, as a rebel. And then you must believe that his son, Jesus Christ, took the punishment for you. I want to close in prayer. I love my Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who died for me. By his great grace, I'll serve him with my last breath, because I love him. Whether I go to hell at the end or not, I'm going to serve him because he's worthy. Let's bow our heads in reverence and prayer to God, please. Lord, I pray by your spirit you'd be merciful to the sinners here that have heard your gospel and that you let your hand of conviction lay heavy upon them. And tonight as they lay in their beds alone with you, that they
they would come to grips with their crimes and their rebellion and yield to you, Lord. Who's that from, honey? This is from my secret sister. Oh. Oh. A, a special pal doesn't give her name, but she's a friend just the same. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me put, let me put a, a, the calendar. The other chair. You want to put a calendar? So you see mommy in there? Is mommy, can you see mommy in it? <laughs> yeah, look how pretty. Isn't she beautiful? Like in her mom. Like in Hey, share, Daddy. No, I'm sharing, but I don't want you to hold this. This is not your to kind of toy. Is she getting bigger? Hmm? Can you see her real big now? Hi, Mama. Hi, honey. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, yeah. Hey. Isn't she beautiful, Mama? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Get it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
start. Don't start. Okay. Chuck, Chuck, let's, let's back off now. Okay. These guys do a good job. Good. Let's back off. Good. Okay. Well, all we want is, is one of the You're not going to tell me nothing new. I just don't want Trey to keep an eye on the way out. Hey. Okay. As long as nobody says anything, we ain't going to have no yeah. problem. So they say just, nothing, you yeah, say nothing. Let's just cool it. And let's get, we've done our job. We Fine. don't need to have these guys. Just, no, don't exchange any words. Okay. Speech. That's all you need. Save it for another time. Let's, let's hey, all of the Travis. Hey, hey, all of our guys, hey, let's move right, right down over there away from this. Just and wrap it up. Let's move on, right down over there. I just don't want any homosexuals to make a run the attitude. Hey, I don't care what I just want my free speech like anybody else, that's all. I'm sick and tired of crybabies. Some people can speak and others can't. Get you guys out of your safe place. Let's get you guys out of your safe place. Okay. Where, where direction are you going? You got the uh, I'm going to have to get it. I got it in my car. Bill, why don't you take your car and go out of here and get the information on your third day? I'll bring it to your car when you're through. I'll bring it to your car when you're yeah. Oh, okay. I'm a I'm, okay, good. I'm just okay. trying to keep your butt out of it, all right? Everybody's out of it. I ain't worried about my butt, seriously. No, but when you come in contact with me, you're going to protect me. Well, that's good, because you're going to protect me. I don't want no problem. Not me, though. I'm going to help you on that. I'm not worried about we'll a bunch, today, of, folks. A bunch of uh, people that don't want me to. Just start. We know you're not looking. I know what you're saying. I don't want to get in your opinion. Why don't you get on them? Okay. Everybody you try it. Cry, baby. Come on, come on, come on. You're not helping. Man, it just makes me so mad, these people. You all right, Ruben? Yeah, I'm cool. I'd rather have the peace, not even come. Let me get your name. Just for a picture before Did they arrest that guy? Yeah, they arrested him. Oh, you don't want to know. you the I need a pass to take it back. You have to defend some one twenty four. Okay, you can use that anymore. Uh, no, no, sir. We're going. I'm not going to use it anymore. So are you leaving? I think, I think we've been effectively uh, beaten down here. I'm sticking with Ruben.
The Lord Jesus Christ gives mercy to all the wicked if they repent. If they repent. But you can't just go around saying you're not guilty of anything and expect God to give you mercy on Judgment Day. That would be foolish. Think about it. It'd be like opening all the prisons and letting all the rapists and murderers out into society just because they say nothing's wrong with us. You gonna believe them? And it's the same way with all men, including homosexuals. The Bible says all men are wicked. It would be hypocritical for me to say I'm not included in that. And I think it would be hypocritical for any homosexual that hears my voice to say they're not included. Think of it is, sin will keep you in bondage. That's exactly right. Sin will keep you in bondage. Pretty soon you can't break out of it. And the only option you have is to make God your criminal. No, you're in the right area. It's your lucky day. you got someone that loves you here today and not your friends that are sanctioning your behavior. You're, you're confused with lust. You are confused with lust. We are here to tell you people there's mercy. And not only that, people, but there's deliverance from the bondage, bondage of homosexuality. That's exactly right. I was a whoremonger, a heterosexual. I have sex with any whore that had let me. Hey, man, I used to think with his head. I'm sorry, the other head. No, I don't anymore. Now I love God. I quit following the animal impulses of my flesh, but I was in bondage to them. Just like when I used to shoot dope, I was in bondage to it. How many times I shot up and said, that's the last one, man, until the next day when my flesh became uh, aroused again, and then I abandoned my promise to quit shooting dope and I'd shoot more. And that's what you homosexuals are like. Many of you are in bondage to your sin. You'd like to break it off. You'd like for the impending judgment of AIDS. How many of you want to get AIDS? None of you. Think about it. How many of you want AIDS? Not one of you. of homosexuality. I think most of you that got any sense, the only way is to love Jesus Christ more than yourself. To love the Lamb of God who shed his blood for you and me, every heterosexual fornicator who's just as wicked as you. Come on now, people. God is not picking on homos. He's saying all men are wicked. And if you want, if, unless you repent, you will perish like the rest of the wicked. But you've got to admit your guilt. And that's the way of the cross, to, to, to humble yourself before God and quit fighting God. Say, God, you are right, I am wrong. I turn from my wickedness, and his blood will cleanse you from your sins, people. Hey, it's good news. Think about it. Your 
She's fine. Oh, you can tell she can't even feed the mini The character recipe. of the woman here is uh, a deep expression. Our character is nice. Uh, she threw things calm, at us. The but countenance is calm. Look at her countenance. Yeah, her, uh, broken, but ours is uh, She don't even. But ours is calm. I'm going to sign off now. Bye, son. Now. What? Because. I'm going to turn off the camera, okay? No. Why? Because it's. Because you want to ham it up a little bit more? <laughs> <laughs> November 8th. David, what are you dressed up as? A clown. A clown? You don't look like a clown to me. No. Just for a little bit? Hat, glasses, both are Let's go see what Michael's doing. It's okay, Michael. Well, Michael James. Good morning, Michael James. Let's see how this one looks like. She's coming in a shadow, Chuck. There. Hey, Teresa. There's Teresa. No, little girl. Oh, Teresa.
men and women are going to hell. Save us! First of all, the Bible says that yes, all men and women are sinners. Oh God, why have you forsaken my soul? Secondly, it says that sinners will go to hell. I beg the So what hope do we have? Have mercy on my soul. Do you know what hell is? Hell is eternal torment. The Bible says that there's weeping and gnashing of teeth in hell. The worm never dies. The land is never you know about Columbus. So where's the good news? thought that the stars were shining in the air. You didn't know the stars were in the air. Where's the good news? Where's the good news? Well, the Christians don't understand the goddamn stars, do they? Here's the good news, man. The Christians are ignorant of the stars. The good news. The power of the stars. They're ignorant of the feelings of others. They're ignorant to others. They are self here's and blind people who care about no one but themselves and their little social gathering at the church on Sunday. It's just another piece, piece of shit act of social ignorance, ignorance, ignorance and lies. We're having conflict every day. Extinction will be a sentence. You want us to think about God. You need to listen to more heavy metal, friend. Fuck you, Chuck. Suck my cock, you puss. That sounds like good lyrics. Suck my dick. You, you should put that to music and I you can make like some money in a heavy metal band. <laughs> you closet, you closet, you closet. Oh. Oh, he's, he's a closet. He's a closet. He's a closet Satanist. He's a closet Satanist. How far did you make it? <laughs> no. He hides behind his Bible. He chucks all his stuff, serving the whole self righteous little Satanist himself. Shut. You know, if you're not careful, all you're ever going to be is critics of the gospel and not recipients. No, I'd like to pull out of the city and cut both your legs off so you fall down down on the concrete, the concrete and all the blood comes out your stumps. And I'd lock my fucking head off, Chuck. I would laugh so hard. My heart be still. I laugh so hard. I laugh so hard. I laugh so hard. I laugh so hard. The Bible says that all are condemned because all are sinners. Now let me tell you something, friends. There's a way to escape the righteous wrath of God. There is one way by which we can escape the righteous judgment of God Almighty. To put it in other words, there's one way and only one way that we can escape hell's eternal flame. And it's not all of Krishna or Buddha, it's not the Pope. It's not doing good deeds. It's not saying penance. And Chuck is going to push you around like he pushed me it's around. It's simply out of by here. repenting. He doesn't care about anybody but Chuck. Repenting and believing that Jesus heaven. Christ he took the punishment you sinners no. and I deserve on the cross 2,000 years no. ago. He took the punishment That's right. you deserve. No. Christ was crucified because the Bible the says who don't yeah. like that on judgment day, all your sins That's are going to be read out loud in the books of the Bible. All your sins and all your sins and all your sins. Feel bad for being alive. That certificate of death. That certificate is better than all of you. Chuck really believes that he's better than all of you. Do you see what I'm saying? God's promise says your sins will be wiped out. They will not be laid to your credit or against you. You have to repent and believe. You You are a new specialist. You are a new specialist. Does that sound like good news? Jesus is going to you over to fuck you in your anus. I'll tell you what. You bloody, you're a sinner. You bloody or damned if you're a sinner, Chuck is going to let you kiss his feet and you pay a hundred bucks and you can go to heaven. Hey, everybody go out and kiss Chuck's feet and go to heaven. Hey, salvation, by the pound. It's good news that there's mercy. Just bring a couple of dollars, bring out your pocketbooks and your... Ronald and Harris was hoping he could buy mercy from the governor. to kill people because they're sick. And Chuck, but there was none. The electric chair, he frothed at the mouth, his eyes bulged out. Are you judged and overjudged? Judge, you sadistic, judge, you sadistic you pig. But you see that moment in the electric chair is nothing like you're eternal torment right is going to be you. as the Bible describes it. Fuck you and fuck your mother. The electric chair, the short few mother, seconds Chuck, you have in the electric chair is so nothing <laughs> like eternal torment in hell. They're talking about the electric chair is inhumane. You don't know about it. This, this man's by maternal injection. mother is they the whore of Babylon. Oh, yeah. You know why? Hell, because when you get those 20,000 volts, your eyes bulge out, your tongue pops out of your mouth and it swells up. Chuck, yep. Chuck. Oh, your skin fries. Yep. But chair. let me tell you something. While you burn in hell for the first 10,000 years, you wish you could die in the oh, electric you're chair. He's going to burn in hell. Why should we worry about electric chair?
You're not allowed here. I'm not allowed here? No. Why? You have, to, you have to get clearance. It says right here in the uh, bylaws of the of the uh, school here that I don't need clearance. You need to, you need to get clearance. Let me see, officer, if I'm if I'm if I'm mistaken or if I'm correct. Because I believe I read it over pretty Title 42 of the U.S. Code says every person who under the color of law deprives any citizens of rights, privileges, or immunities secured under the U.S. Constitution, i.e. the First Amendment, is subject to civil and criminal penalties. So I would guard what you do. Officer Silva. There it is. Individual students, non-students, and, no, and uh, registered student clubs may address themselves to issues of concern to them in the designated open forum area. Now, is this the designated open forum area? Not, I was told it was last week by, off, by both the security officers and the vice uh, principal. Who's the non-student? Get out of here! There you go. Teacher, sir, do you know this man is interrupting our conversation? Here for it says here, this could be called obstruction of justice. Okay, it says here that uh, I can, without prior notification or reservation, in the designated open forum area, without prior notification or reservations. As a officer, right? Silva. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, who are you? Can I see that? Who are you? I'm going to see you. Asking you, I'm asking you, we want you to leave, sir. Excuse me, I'm asking you, you is there leave? any law that I've broken, Officer Silva? Yeah, I just want to know. If you're gonna leave no, you're I'm not going to leave unless okay. I'm breaking a law. Okay, you're disrupting the people here who are trying to learn. Sanctioning, sanctioning sin to justify their own political ends. The homosexuals in San Francisco are political fodder. You are expendable. The politicians reject God's law that says sodomy is sin, and they promote homosexuality to get your vote. Excuse me, people, one moment. Section 49 provides for a decimal check. Section 49 in the San Francisco Penal Code. You got it on you? Uh, what happens is who's exempt from this uh, uh, corporate license? Is private citizens, A, that play music or artists, and private speakers such as myself. Now, the decibel gauge is in place for over 10 decibels, but with the prerequisite that we fall outside of the boundaries of Section 49. Look it up. Section 49 says there is a certain de decibel degree that uh, your wattage cannot surpass. And I think if you look that up, officer, you find that I'm correct. They may have a decibel gauge, otherwise they wouldn't have stopped you. Yeah, if you have a decibel gauge, we'll be, we'll be glad to turn down our microphone to the proper decibel level. Like I said, these folks right here are the ones that are all upset. They're just telling me, go over and do something about it. Thank you, officer. That's what they want. And I would like you to do something about the law. It. They have a permit. Why don't you follow well, the I have law? A permit the it's the open to Section the public. You don't want to hear hate here, so. Section 49, officer. I hate dynamite. I can see by God. You can express your point of view. However, you cannot express your point of view in such a way that it inflames the crowd to violence. What would determine that? If you, yeah, right. Now listen to me. If you do, if you do, you can express, you can stand here and you can have your sign and everything. However, you cannot use verbiage that tends to create a situation.
situation is turns to violence. This okay. is all very vague. What is the verbiage? The verbiage is if you, well, I don't know. It could be anything. What do you mean? But it could be anything. If the crowd, if the crowd becomes violent, if the crowd becomes violent, we'll have to remove you under force. Uh, because they know you don't I want to stand here and move. The Constitution. But That's what you're doing. Stand here if, and if you can't do your job, officer, to defend the Constitution, I can do mine. Okay. Either you do what I tell you to do. Either you do what I tell you to do, or I will. You haven't told me what to do. I said, what are the words I can't use? Anything that causes a fight. Okay, what are the words? Now, hands off that woman, officer. What are the words? If anything, I don't know. It could be anything. No, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, you're like you what? I'll just have to I'm not going to use them if I know what they are. What are the words I can't use? Anything that tends to inflame the group. Anything that tends to inflame the group, like yeah, what? Uh, homosexual, uh, sodomite, wickedness? Whatever. Uh, that does. If that does, then there's a fight. A fight ensues. If a fight ensues, you protect my free speech. You stop going for what you did. There's a fight. Fight ensues. No Why will you arrest me? right now for violating the Constitution of America, badge 467. Violating the Constitution. He's telling me if I use words, he's going to arrest me. I'm arresting you in the name of the Constitution of the United States, Officer J-S-E-I-M, badge number 467. No problem. If you won't protect my right to free speech, I'm arresting you, citizen's arrest. You're not an officer of the law, you're a traitor to the Constitution. Turn in your badge, coward. When you stand before God, you are not have to say much. You defend my right to free speech. You'll never have a bunch of immorality. He's using those words. 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 He's using determine what happens to these preachers. You that was the one with the glasses uh, that Chuck spelled out. The shed blood of Jesus Christ. We're all in trouble. Now, who's your dad? Without that precious blood that's going to keep us from slipping into hellfire, we're all in trouble. Sir, I don't mind talking with you. I don't mind speaking, but I'd like to stay here. Okay. There's a We're going to go over here and talk. Am I under arrest? Not under arrest. Okay, then I'll stay here. For what? Because you're causing most likely to turn into a fight out here. Why? Officer, trust me. We've done this all we need to do is go here and talk to you. Just real quick. Just need to make sure what's going on. Once we take care of that, people will disappear. It's fine that you're voicing your opinion, what you believe in. It's just. You're doing it so loud. It's just Thank you. Everybody else is business. You know, everybody else is trying to do their thing. That's what freedom of speech is about. No, no, no. What we're saying, what we're saying is, well, no, what we're saying is, it's fine that you that you do this, but it's at such a level that everybody else is being disturbed. Some people enjoy it, and some people like the problem, and some people don't. We don't mind you doing it. 
as long as you keep it to a level where everybody else, if they choose to enjoy it, let them welcome them. Well, that's a bit ambiguous. The law says that we're entitled to freedom of speech if we don't use electronic amplification. No, well, that's part of what the law says. Sir, it does exactly say well, that. Okay. And if we were using electronic amplification, there is a decibel gauge that is to be brought out and see if we exceed those decibels. Are you talking about Santa Cruz, the city of Santa Clara Municipal Code? Or are you talking I'm about talking state about law? the Constitution of the United okay. States, which overrides about. Santa Clara, which overrides California, sir? and is sir? good in this nation, sir. sir. I'm not here to argue. You know what you want. Okay, I understand that. My point, what I'm here to do, is trying to keep this between. Right. If anybody starts perpetrating violence, I expect you to intervene on my behalf. We're, we're going to stop that ahead of time. I need well, to my needle. Uh, I don't think I'll give any. Okay. If I can ask you your name, you do need to give me a name. Well, because uh, you are being detained. I am being detained? Being detained. Under what law? Violation of 415. It's got nothing to do Disturbing the peace is 415, sir. It's also three sections of disturbing the peace. Give For example, one. what are the other sections? Officer Womack? I'll give you a chart. Take care of that. Okay. I do need to ask that call to send you on the other call. Well, Generally, officer, I don't uh, like to give my name out unless I'm under arrest. Okay. I can understand that. You're not under arrest. I know. I, I, I realize that. Yeah. I just like Cindy. to get back and exercise my Cindy. freedom of speech now. You, you, you really you have to understand something. Your freedom of speech extends right up to the point where it's likely to cause the welfare of the public. If you wind up in a fight out here, then it's a dead Well, I, I trust that you get people complain. I trust that you get that you're disrupting their peace. I trust you. both ways. Freedom officer. Of I trust that you will uphold my right. Okay. And you know if what? there is what trouble, their, if there is trouble, their, you're intervening. What about their They can leave. What right? That's why we have okay. the First Amendment. They have the right to hear or leave. Okay. We're, we're having a little discussion as to what this all is. Yeah, I've been through That's this That's why times. I wanted to step over here where we don't have no, 50 I, I, million No, I'd like 50 million people to hear exactly what you're up to here. That's, no, that's fine. <laughs> So now, if you're finished, I'd like to get back and no, exercise my First Amendment. And it's not about First Amendment. I understand. It's, it's exactly right. about the First Amendment. I understand. Freedom of speech, freedom of what religion. I'm, what I am trying to make sure is that there isn't going to be a problem here that Senator Lindsay is going to make. Well, I'm sure you will. If you infringe on our right to the First Amendment, I will make a citizen's arrest against you for violating our First Amendment right under the Constitution. Ma ma can you tell me something? Yes. Is that videotaping? Yes, it yes, is. Officer That's what I wanted to make yes. sure. I wanted to make sure it was videotaping so we have all the time. Absolutely. Good. We do have it on video. It goes, goes both yes. ways. And if you violate our rights, we'll have you arrested, Officer Womack. Okay. I'll talk to you. I understand. I find it very interesting that uh, every sodomite in San Francisco can parade in pantyhose up Market Street. They advertised that on Channel 20 this year. They had sadomasochists whipping each other, naked lesbians, and every other man in the Constitution. And here's a man preaching the gospel of the Word of God. In the Constitution. Very interesting. Have we entered the realm of brown shirt Nazi Germany? Is my no, the police need to understand they, point of they view have to uphold the Constitution, such where not I should be arrested now? And that's what he needs to elect him. We have no right to do that. That's why they have no right to do what they're doing. Right and the law will bear that out. Oh, yeah. 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 I want him tested for drugs. I want him tested for drugs. Man, I'm preaching. the word of God, I get free from the sleep. You know what they arrested me for now? Because I said it's not a sin. Right. And what we're saying is. I'm not a politician here today, people. We're having trouble I don't having want conversations. And everybody I don't, else I don't in their booths are doing their business. I'm simply business. here to warn you that there is a day of judgment. Manner works. Not disturbing people that do not want to be because, disturbed. You know what I mean? So we're trying. I don't die. For us, we're in peace. Well, what we're trying to do is keep everything peaceful. We're all in danger. We're all in danger. We are, there is no peace being disturbed. There is no fight starting. We can see that right here. No fight. No riot. Yeah, but he didn't breathe when he put his head up. Michael, you're not breathing. You bring your head up so you don't take a breath. You've got to open your mouth and take a breath while you're coming. You swim heck of far, boy. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Come get you.
Okay, today is December 25th, 1994, Christmas. The boys and, then, are, and in the house is a spingola. See? Yeah, and the boys are getting oh, ready to open the presents. And there's Daddy, made lattes for him and me. Dad, which I want to Yeah. Mom, can yeah, we need to these? Huh? Right okay. Video to these. Mm. these are homemade stockings. Homemade by who? Yeah, all of them are going to be ready right. to find your slippers. And then we come all along here. Oh, and I think those, those are new, those stockings. I think Santa brought those. Santa brought these ones. Yeah. Yep. And then there's the pillow I made, too. All of these were for you, Dad. Okay. Where'd the other stocking go, Mom? The one what this behind you, thing? boy. Mom. What this no, I thing? know what that was. Mom. Okay. Look on the desk. Mom. Hmm? What does it say? It says to Daddy. <clears throat> so what does this say? It's getting ready to read scripture to us about our yeah. Lord Jesus' birth. Okay. Yep, that's the hiding place. It's a true story, oh, David. Dude, boxing! Oh, cool. Muhammad Ali boxing. Sega. <laughs> Dang. Oh, okay. Boxing fools around here. That's for you. Cool. <laughs> That's a bigger hockey stick than he had before, isn't it? You're welcome, David. David, I can't get any of your expressions. <laughs> That's you like it? That was curved at the end, huh? That David missed a present. He's got one more to open. Yeah. What is it? The Hardy oh, yeah. Boy! The Hardy, the Hardy Boys. Boys. No, it's the Hardy Girls. <laughs> the Hardy Boys. <laughs> Ella. Yeah, throw it to him. Don't try to touch them, guys. Yeah, you don't want to do that for sure. Do they kill you? No, they can bite. Yeah, they can. 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 Yeah, they and there's a crawdad crawling around here that they caught. And Michael's trying to pick it up. I caught it. Oh, right at the back. David caught this no, one. No, not the tail. There. There. Grab the sucker. Scared. Right, right there. Now, he can't pinch you right there. See, he reaches back, but he can't get he you. Can't See, look. He can't get you, babe. Scared. See? He can't reach. See? I'll try. <laughs> you gotta catch him right back at the back there. See right where the tail ends? Yeah. Right there? Yep. Can't, but could you get you there? Huh? Could he get you there? No, he can't get you. Just hold him tight though. So he doesn't fall? Yeah. Right there. Go ahead, grab him. You gotta put the, squeeze him hard. There. Got there you him. go. Pick him up. See? Yeah. You don't gotta squeeze him real tight, but this just like that. See? Ah. See? He can't. He couldn't get you. You see that? <laughs> he got me by his claw. No, he just no, touched honey, you. See? He just, he just touched you. See, he could touch you, but he can't get the he can't get the skin in there. Okay, I'll try. See him? Yeah. He can't get the skin fine. in there. That looks fun. Okay. Stop moving. Yeah, I'm gonna have some Oreos, okay? Okay. See now I can't get you. See, look. He where reaches. I put him. Where I put him? You don't gotta put him nowhere. Just pick him up in the air. See? <laughs> he can't get you, right? Yeah. Come to the hot dog. 
Okay, put them in the bucket. Put them back in the bucket. Let mommy see you drop them in there. Where? Let me get you in there. Oh, Michael. You need to put some water in there, though. Step here and... Wait a minute, Michael. Wait, 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 Michael James. Let me focus in on it. Okay. Wait a minute, let me get... Let me get over here. All right, wait, Michael James. All right. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to zoom in on it. Wait a minute. Okay, whenever you're ready, Michael. Okay. Hey. Let me go see. <laughs> this is the family of dead eyes. Okay. And um, I just want to tell, say that um, our association with Chuck and Teresa has been invaluable. It's been wonderful. We've, uh, we've had such a short time to really get to know them. There are a lot of, a lot of the convictions that Chuck has that we believe are right on. And we're, we're praying that God continues to give him the support that he needs. And uh, if there's ever a need across this land, is we need a prophet. We need somebody to say, let's say the Lord. And I think Chuck has the courage to do that. And we're just praying that God will use him in Ohio. Um, obviously, it's, uh, it's going to be different. It's going to be cold back there. That's where I came from, so I know. So you know. I know, but uh, anyhow, Godspeed to both of them, and to, to Michael and David. They're all gifted. Thank you. Okay. I'm in here. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Chuck, uh, I'm praying for you. And, uh, Your name? Nathan Schumacher. Okay. And I know one of these days you're going to wake up and realize you're a Calvinist, so we already know that because God saw it. But I believe you with Psalm 110 and Psalm 72. Uh, before Christ comes back, all the nations of the world will flow into the church, and uh, Christ will defeat all these enemies before he returns. So, we labor to that end. Thank you. I spend money. Your name? Norman. Okay. And you want to say goodbye to him? Yes, yeah, by Teresa and Chuck and Michael and David. Um, who would have believed that, our, that the lady sitting next to me at the PTA meeting, what, eight or nine years ago, was going to be one of my best friends? So we wish you the best of luck and keep in touch. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Mr. Mouton. Now who's filming who? <laughs> All right. I don't know. Well, let's see. Check, you know, it's a fan of the Lord. That'll be great. And so we, we got about five to seven and a half. You know, it's a good thing. 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 So when you going to come visit? ASAP. Okay. And um, kids are really sad, as you'll see on the tape. But, you know, we're going to come visit you guys. You guys take care. Never forget us. Okay, now we got this on tape. You're coming to visit. <laughs> okay, now give me a date. Can I get a date? Sometime this summer. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> hey, Ryan, you know you have to say something goodbye or say your goodbyes. <laughs> Huh? Well, you still gotta say goodbye for right now. <laughs> come on, you guys, quick goodbyes. Come on, come on, cause we gotta go. Bye. And the rest of the family. Bye. See you in Ohio. You gonna go out there and visit too? Yep. We're going this summer too.
babies out of the womb for money. Lowest order on the rung of life. And now we want to get all warm and fuzzy because some murderous scumbag was shot. How about the babies that are aborted? How about the... Yeah, does this mean anything to you? Okay, just everybody, everybody remember that. Everybody just remember that. Whether you think it's funny or not. Yeah, you remember Christian. What if I married some woman who likes to fool around or, or doesn't want to cook for me? Well, oh, God. do your own cooking now. <laughs> what do I do then? I got a ball and chain on my leg, man. I got some contentious woman. You come home, she don't want to cook. You come home from a hard day's work, she don't want to cook. All she wants to do, if she's from another tribe and not the Christian tribe, she wants to give you a bunch of hassle. Talk about, did you see G.I. Jane last week, sucker? <laughs> so, no, if you're a Christian, you don't want to marry a non-Christian, a non-Christian. That's a ball and chain. Once you make that covenant, that's it. Once you stand before God and say, I promise, I make a covenant to love, honor, and cherish this woman. And you find out that she doesn't even love the same God you do, you're in trouble. You did not answer my question. I asked you that. You get thoughtful about that. You're in trouble. You, you have not answered my question. Well, sorry, I did the best I could. No, my question was, you got Again, a lot of you got this politically correct religion. You changed the word abomination to gay. Therefore, your behavior is okay. I mean, gay is actually a good thing to be. You know, I mean, think about it. The word gay, look it up in the dictionary. For an example, of double speak, Orwellian double speak. Gay means show me. Heck, I'm gay. I'm gay, but I'm not uh, preaching to you people most of the time. I get pretty darn gay. That doesn't mean I want to sodomize my buddies. Conquer other lands like you used to do. Kill them. Typical liberal cry, baby. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh, I feel so compassionate. Oh, I feel like killing people that aren't like me. That is you, my man, sir. Yourselves that the preachers are crazy and you're okay. 
If we're purpose here, little support groups. Little support groups of two or three. Hey, brother, thank you. 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 Hey
In what respect? Oh, let me see. God gave Adam one of Eve's ribs. You've got one of my ribs in your chest. Oh, what do you think about that? Woman oh, let me say something. from man, not man from woman. Mm. I think you need to go read your Bible a little bit. Don't. Uh, a slumber came over Adam, and God took a rib and created Eve. Well, then why are you so here to so Nobody said anything about hating woman. I love my woman. Why did you call oh, your mom a whore? Why did you call your mom a whore? Why did you call your mom a whore? Why did you call your mom a whore? Hey, y'all want a group picture? Why did you call your mom a Y'all want a group picture? Yes. Why did you call your own mother a whore? Come on. Here's your whores and your kids and your fornicators and your lesbians. Y'all want a group picture? Okay. And what's that word? 
some racist, sexist, homophobe coming here and infringing uh, on that? I will read the Bible today, whether you like it or not. You can read the Bible. He's over there. Read it I'm not, you're not getting me out of here. You want me to touch you? Would you like me to touch you? Well, this is my stuff. Don't touch it. This is our space. Don't put your shit on. No, this isn't your space. Anti woman and anti homo or anti homosexual. Well, you let the people uh, hear the message, and then they can figure whether it's anti what. We've already heard your fucking message. How many fucking times? Listen, have you man, been here, man. Don't touch my stuff. Go ahead and talk to You're not going to intimidate me, man. No, I'm just telling you the facts. I'm not trying to intimidate you, man. Next, somebody get the police. Please. Somebody out. call the police, please. The police will make you leave. Listen, man. swung first the guy who and who is hurt the guy who broke nose? yeah he actually swung at the preacher first yeah he swung first what do you feel about this issue what do you think should have happened it yeah. happened here well more or less um, a guy was trying to preach and uh, students didn't agree with what he was preaching so uh, they started harassing him swearing at him uh, saying vulgar things to him. He didn't swear. I mean, he simply didn't want him to mess with his stuff. If they would have just been, you know, not been so ignorant about it and just let him say what he had to say, let it go, and walk away from it, everything would have been fine. But no, they had to keep grabbing his crap, taking it away, throwing it up top there. And he just, you know, he got a little sick of it, you know, and he didn't do anything. He didn't try to swing at him at first. But finally, they started pulling his stuff away. He, uh, and as he tried to pull his stuff back, the one kid swung at him. And so he swung back and he nailed the kid, and that's, you know, pretty much what happened, you know. And, kid got, and then all of his friends jumped in, you know. And what's the guy supposed to do? If that other kid that was taking a picture got hit, it was out of self-defense. The guy was just trying to protect himself. I mean, if you had five people coming at you bullshit. at one time, no, not bullshit. I was sitting right here up front. Do you think anyone was at fault here? I think the students were, actually. They were. He was out here saying what are you saying. I didn't really agree with it. But, like, we've had, like, Brother Jed here causing trouble before. Mostly students just argue with him. They were out, like, trying to take his stuff, moving it around, and then he'd pull it back. This happened a couple of times. He said, leave my stuff alone. And he turned his back for a second. And the one kid, I guess he had, like, a dark hat on, grabbed it and left. And he just kind of, like, went to grab his stuff. Mm -hmm. And the kid turned and took a swing at him. And he missed. And he swung back at the kid, hit him in the nose. Then after he hit the kid in the nose, he went down, and, like, a bunch of kids rushed him. And I think... In the scuffle, all these people coming at him, I think he hit someone else, and just by accident, like five people on him. So, so ba you off. don't hold the preacher at fault. You just think he was defending himself? I think so. Yeah. He, well, you got five people rush at you like that. I mean, you could you could hardly even see him in the crowd. There was like five people, like they were trying to pull him back or attack him. It was hard to even tell. So. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, for the camera's sake, this is where I'll be preaching. Nice open area. Nothing nearby. No classes. 
just five wide open spaces. And so this is where I'm going to endeavor to preach. Seems very profitable, a lot of people walking by. The best place to uh, convey my message. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. I put, excuse me. Sir? Okay. Officer um, okay. Hermel? Okay. What I need to know from you is, are you a student or employee here? Am I a student or employee here? No, I'm not, officer. Okay. Can I see some ID, please? No. I don't show my ID unless I've broken the law and I'm under arrest. Is there a problem here? You're on private property. I'm on, pro isn't this a state university? <laughs> Officer, I ask you a question. Is this, isn't this a state university? Sir, are you done speaking to me? Doesn't want to talk anymore. Uh, may I go back and preach now, sir? Officer? <laughs> Officer? May I go back and speak now? Exercise my First Amendment now? Just hang on. Okay. You want me to wait for a few minutes? So it's fine. Can you give me a 5 9 over at the SST line? This is still America, people. <laughs> now, this is Georgia. Georgia Tech, if I'm not mistaken. Well, the officer asked me to, the officers have requested that I wait for a few minutes. So I'm going to do that. Okay, what's your name? Officer Hermel. What's your name? Uh, I don't. I don't wish to give my name unless, of course, I've committed a crime and I'm under arrest, Officer Hermel. Badge number 46. And who are you with? I'm with Unashamed and Associates. That's the name of my ministry. Okay. May I continue now? Uh, if you want to hang on a second, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. My supervisor's going to talk to you. Okay. Well, I'm going to wait until I start preaching again. He, uh, Officer Hermel, badge 46, wants me to wait till the supervisor comes. Okay. Did you know this is private property, right? You're getting in my comfort zone, officer. Could you back up about two feet? Did you know this is private property? I wasn't aware that this is private property, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, this isn't a state university? It is, as long as you have a reason to be here. It is. Uh, it is a state university, as long as I have a reason to be here. I do have a reason to be here. Okay. I don't agree with what he's saying. Yourself, I'm. Um, you saying I can't talk? To Stand here and talk to one person. Gentlemen, I've been very patient. You can have your camera on. I mean, if you tell saying, me I can't be here, I'll leave. You need to leave. Okay. okay I right. told you what. I know. Protocol to go through to get a permit to come out here and talk. I'm standing here as a private citizen to speak to this man. He followed me. He wants to talk to me. You're saying I How can't far does he have to be off campus before he can talk to him? Leave the campus. Okay. Well, I'm not under criminal trespass. I'm sorry. I, I would like to, but you need to, you need to ask why are Christians being put off the campus, and why aren't you as a Christian asked to be leave the campus? Where are we at? Let's go. Are we in America? <laughs> yeah, right. You just let you just let homosexuality and abortion go on, and then you criticize a Christian for quote preaching hate. Are you God? Do you judge? Do I look like God? You huh? You Idiot. Yeah, I said idiot. 